So uh, here is um, Budget 2023. Uh, the title, as you'll see, is Support for Today, Building for Tomorrow. Uh, that is very much what the budget does. It's about getting a balance between making sure we support people with the cost of living pressures that they are facing right now, uh, but also look to a future where we continue to build New Zealand as a nation. Uh, for those who are interested, yes I did take the cover photo again this year, um, for those who I'm sure you'll recognise it, it's taken from Bluff Hill in Napier, uh, looking across towards uh, Hill Moana and out to Cape Kidnappers, and uh, on a beautiful day, uh, somewhat before uh, the cyclone. Can we see inside? No. <laughs> Actually what? you can, because it's last year's budget inside here, which is what we always do. What's, what's, your little, what's your little hint and tip for us ahead of the budget on Budget Eve? Oh, look, on Budget Eve I think it's important to stick to what we always do, which is not get into too many of the details. But as I said, uh, this has been a very difficult budget to put together for two reasons. One, one, the economic circumstances that we are in as a country and that people are facing. And secondly, the cyclone. Um, you know, the arrival of the cyclone in the latter part of putting uh, the budget together was a real challenge. So we, we've had to make some adjustments for that. You've heard our announcements already about the cyclone and that's a significant uh, investment that we're making there. So it's a budget where I feel like across the four priorities that we set for it, which are the cost of living areas, strong public services, the recovery and resilience, and being fiscally sustainable, it, we worked really hard to get the balance across those. So you'll see elements within all of those. Is there a major surprise in it? Uh, no. I don't think there is. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, what there is, is a set of things that um, we're doing that I think will support and help people, but also have long term benefits as well. A twofer, as it were, uh, Jenna. Did the cycle you see any more plans to produce an election year budget? Uh, as I've, I've answered this a few times before, I don't, I don't really believe in that. I mean, if you if you follow the logic of that, it's the budget you do the year before the election that should matter because that's when things will actually be rolling out into people's lives. Um, it's a budget that's appropriate for the times that we're in. And that's what I've tried to do in all of the six or the five budgets I've done before this, is match what we're doing to where we're at and where we want to go. In COVID, we had to do certain things. This is a budget that's appropriate for a time where people are struggling uh, where we do need to invest to support them, but at the same time, we've got to come back from those big spending COVID budgets. So it's a budget appropriate to this year, which also happens to be an election Will it get Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.